So this is an interesting story developing today, although this will be out tomorrow. So who knows? There might have been updates since then. Um, however, as you all know, we are coming up to the May local elections. Each and every party is now in full swing, ready, launching off, kicking off their campaigns, already in motion, ready for May the 2nd. And interestingly enough, once again, the Tories are in a bit of a panic. There is already an idea, or at least two things being put forward. Rishi Sunak trying to plan a massive lurch to the right in order to try and survive, um, well, May the 3rd, depending on how the results are of the May local elections, but also a unity cabinet led by Penny Mordaunt with people from the moderate Tories and the right of the party. Um, that is an idea that apparently is being thrown around should there be a very big defeat come May the 2nd. And there should be an incredibly big defeat come May 2nd. Once again, I repeat the call. Go out. Make sure you are ready to vote. Remember to take your IDs with you because you will need an ID. Um, if you can vote by post, vote by post. Uh, although I think there isn't a lot of time left for that, although I have to double check on that. So someone will, I'm sure will correct me. But if you can, double check. Um, remember that the uh, sways potentially in a lot of local council elections, just getting out 100 people or 100 people changing their votes can have a very, very big impact on the outcome. Remember, the more Tory councillors that they lose, the better that is. We've already seen Tory councillors try to distance, distance themselves and even go on the doorstep and say that they aren't Tories <laughs> because they are desperate for anything they can or try to do. We've already heard apparently a number of very dirty tricks that local Tories are trying to deploy to con people into thinking that they are uh, not a Tory candidate. Uh, very interesting indeed, some of the stories. I'm sure will there will be more to come in the weeks as the local election campaigns get fully underway in the next couple of weeks. But something interesting, as I said, did indeed happen. This is, of course, to evolve with the Tees Valley mayoral race election. This is easily one of the big elections happening this year. Why? Because next to the general election, this one is easily the most important. Why? Because if you remove Ben Houchen, then you can get someone to actually look what's going on in the Tees Valley port. We know full well, Private Eye has uncovered it. Yorkshire Post has uncovered it. There was a big, big story in the Financial Times about what was going on here, about the dodgy dealings going on at this free port. If you do this, if you can get a proper investigation underway. This is going to cause a massive, massive scandal. And guess what? Rishi Sunak could very much, uh, his fingerprints could be very, very much all over it. Like I say, free ports and this free port in particular, his big idea. So this could be yet another catalyst to not only, well, catapult Sunak, but also something that could very well trigger a general election. Of course, you combine that with the massive losses of the local councillors that are going to happen as well. And as we've said before, the Tory party is going to be in a spin. So that idea of the unity candidate, the unity um, cabinet, uh, could very well come into play, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Depends on the scale of the defeat. However, of course, as always, uh, tactical voting uh, in these types of things can, and I do believe, should come into play. Now, we have heard very, very recently, that the Green candidate has apparently dropped out. And this has literally just happened within the past couple of hours. So we've already got uh, this one, and this is from the Tees Valley News. Oh, sorry, Teesside Live. Um, and they're reporting this. And this is, like I say, literally just broke uh, on this one. So... Uh, yeah, the Green Party candidate for Tees Valley Mayor has now withdrawn from the race less than a month until polling day. The former frontline police officer, Sally Bruce, promised, to, promised quote, public involvement, transparency, and honesty when she announced she was running for the mayor's, uh, May, May's mayoral election. But on Friday, the 55-year-old who lives in Easton in East Cleveland, announced her withdrawal. And in a statement uh, posted on Twitter, Miss Bruce, who had, had just appeared at the Hustings event with another candidate last week, 
said, I've taken the incredible difficult decision to withdraw as a candidate for the mayor of Tees Valley. Now, I'm not going to read the full one because they don't have the full one because for some reason they didn't uh, show the full one. Instead, um, they showed something out. Uh, they only showed half of it, but the byline uh, times, or at least the Northeast byline times, their sister site had shown off, uh, oh, there we go, had shown off uh, the full uh, thing that they had posted. So we're going to go read what the full one was. So I've taken the incredible difficult decision to withdraw as candidate as a Tees Valley mayor. Unlike the other candidates who are professional politicians, I am a working man who is heavily involved in multiple voluntary roles and local community campaigns. As a result, neither I nor the Green Party resources can match the investment being made by the larger parties. <laughs> I... <laughs> and yet, I, I, as I'm constantly told, the Green Party can win anywhere, guys. The Green Party can win anywhere, guys. But <sighs> anyway, um, so she is standing aside, uh, which is, again, a big boost to, to Labour. I would, I have heard, I have not been able to verify this because I have been looking for it, but I have not verified this. Apparently, there is calls from the local party, again, unverified at this moment in time because I haven't been able to find any sources for this, so this may turn out not to be true, but I have seen some other political sources that I have seen, you know, saying that this is what has occurred, so... Like I say, I'm trusting with them, but I haven't seen a uh, natural Green Party source. But apparently they are saying if you are um, getting their their members and their people to vote for the Labour candidate. Now, that is very good because at that point, Ben Hatchin will lose. So we will see if this turns out to be true. Um, but once I can get some form of confirmation or maybe someone could post it down in the comments about what's happening here, because at the moment, it's still very murky. But like I say, I have seen a, a source that I trust say this, so we will see uh, if that turns out to be true. But I'm going off the source that I trust, um, but we'll see. So this is also what they said. Um, it was only this week that the Greens managed to actually meet their fundraising target of £5,000, this was needed for their election deposit uh, to reach their goal with the sponsored uh, head shave, uh, head head and face shave of a particularly uh, hair, hairy hairy supporter. Um, this now means that the Greens are left without a candidate, as the deadline for the candidate registration now is today. The party was left with no time to recruit a replacement. This now uh, the field is now compromise uh, now comprises of the ruling mayor Conservative Ben Houchin, Labour's Darlington councillor Chris McEwen, and the Lib Dems Simon Thornley, who has an international language training business. The Conservative MP for Middle South, and this is where it gets interesting, Simon Clark, claimed on Twitter that her decision to withdraw is apparently because they have done a deal with Labour. So this is what he posted uh just uh, in response to, of course, this happening uh, on Twitter. So, here we go. There we go. It's a bit bigger for you. So, this is what he posted. Um, so, a disgruntled Labour whistleblower tells me that the Greens are pulling out the campaign for Tees Valley Mayor and making an informal pact with Labour. Greens doing Labour's bidding as usual on Teesside. Now, again, I want to point out the hypocrisy of this because um, Simon Clark very, very, very much praised the Brexit Party's decision to stand aside uh, <laughs> when they did that and their informal pact. So, you know, uh, pot me kettle. <laughs> but um, as of yet, as of yet, and I do want to stress this, I have not heard whether or not... Um, there is an informal pact, whether this has been said or whether this has been uh, sort of said. But I do want to reiterate it that if you want to beat Ben Houchin and you potentially want to cause a big Tory, uh, you know, scandal and upset, please do get out in your local May elections. Do get and vote the Tories out, but also get out in your regional mayor elections. There are over 11 different regional mayor elections, some of them brand new as well. So if we can basically sweep that, that will cause 
mass panic in the Tory party. And of course, as I've said before, when the Tories panic, they don't make good decisions. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. But like I say, uh, if I do find any more news about this or someone sees something, please do tell me down below. But as at the moment, I cannot confirm with 100% accuracy. Like I say, I've seen a source on uh, on Threads, uh, Political News. Uh, they were talking about this. A uh, very, very sort of trustworthy news source. Uh, I've seen you know, them sort of do their reporting on Threads. So um, we'll see if this turns out to be true or not, or whether it's just an informal secret pact or whether, where it was. Um you know, meant to be secret, but who knows? We'll find out. We'll find out as always in due course of time. But uh, until then, roll on May the second because, by all accounts so far, this local election is not looking good for the Tories, which does not bode well for them. And of course, we said it's going to cause them to panic, and they do not make good decisions when they panic. And oh boy, that could get very interesting very, very quickly. So, as always. Until then, we'll see you all next time.